Hi friends, welcome to Azure Video Tutorials. This session, I am going to explain you about data flow transformation. One of the transformation called derived column. How to use derived column in data flow? How to create derived column? If you have any requirement, if you have any calculations in your mapping, there if you want to use some calculations and create a new column based on your source fields, we can use derived column so i'm going to explain one small example how to use derived column first i'm going to create one pipeline so the pipeline we can use our activity is called data flow so there's a pipeline i'm going to say with uh, data flow transformations so i'm going to drag and drop this data flow here then I'm going to create a new data flow. So I'm going to save this. So here, this is my data flow. Then I'm going to add a source here. Click on this. And I have already created few data sets. I have already created few data sets, which is a source employee source, which is available in my Azure Blob Storage account. There you can find the sample file data. So I'm going to load the data. So this is my storage account where I have a created one account and then I have created one folder where I can store some sample files to process this. So in one container I have created that container. There's a source folder. You can say source container. There I have a files, employee and department. Then there's two files. I have created two data sets. So I'm going to select a data set. Source data set is EMP. Okay. Then this is my source. Then I'm going to click on add there is a plus symbol here if you click on add you will be getting all the options I am going to show you derived column click on this and here you will be getting option so I am going to change this name salary plus commission I am going to create additional column other than source columns which is you can say derived column you can say total salary so total sal then so I'm going to select columns here you can write your expression so that is my source is a text file so the all default will come as a string I'm going to convert using a functions. There's a function to integer. This is the function. Okay. Then plus and commission will have a null values, right? So whenever you're doing any calculations or any aggregations, you will be getting a null. So for that, I'm going to convert null value into actual value using if null. There's a function available if There's if null you can see here. Um, again, I'm going to use two integer. Just commission and passing zero. So this is I'm going to writing a condition. This is salary plus commission why i'm using integer because my source is a file the default i'm getting as a string but i'm doing some calculations the string you will it will throw error for integers so i'm converting it integer here and the same for other column also commission and i'm using another function if null why because uh, some employees does not have a commission so i'm converting null value to actual value as a zero if there is no commission i'm passing as zero 
so you can save this this is the derive column I'm going to use so click on here plus then you can add your sync as a target where you can add your destination so I'm going to create target employee so I have a data set already created this employee target okay then go to your mapping here you can see this is auto mapping so I'm disabling this then it will display all the columns whichever you are coming from source okay this is all the columns from source here you can see but this column still is not referring sometimes what you can do you can do the reset it's not coming Here I am using a different column name. That's it. Here you can see the total cell because earlier it's available as a cell, that's why it is not displaying. Now I'm going to use as a different column because the cell already is available, that's why it's not coming. Then you can go to setting and create a file the single output file that will show you that uh, csv file i'm going to create you can validate and there is no errors you can publish this and this target whatever i have a sync right this i'm going to store in my data lake the output file will be stored in my data lake. There's a folder called target. Okay, I'm going to data explorer. There's a target folder. So here I'm going to create my output file. So it should create one additional column which we have created using derived column. Okay, let's you can go to your pipeline. There is an option called debug. If you click on debug, it will run. You can use this default uh, runtime integration, whatever is available. Then I am turning on this data flow debug. It says on now. Now the session you can see here, which is when if you are run and debug, you can see the sessions here. If you go for, if you go for triggering, the sessions will be available in monitor section. If you go for triggering those sessions will be available in monitor section but if i use debug the debug option if you want to use it should be enabled that is an option called data flow debug option so i have enabled this option and it is running it will take max one or two minutes we'll say this so it should create one file whichever i have specified this is my target uh, properties you can see this my data set properties if you click on edit there go to connections this is my data lake there's a folder called target so you can verify these connections whatever i have created link services it is working fine so go to your pipeline and you can verify refresh this session is executed so still it's progress and uh, once it's done you can see the file so still it's progress when whenever it is running like if if you have multiple data flows in your pipeline so there you can see this which one is running 
which one is not running means there is a symbol here you can see this is execution symbol okay so this is in progress so one minute So it should create additional column other than source columns which we have created using derived column. So we can create a multiple columns based on your requirement. You can apply all the calculations or formulas whichever you have a requirement. And uh, meanwhile you can go through your data flow and you can verify the data preview in data preview option you can verify this so still it's in progress because the data flow debug option is be enabled sometimes initially it will take some time so depending on sometimes network issue also if you have a slow bandwidth then it will take more time So refresh. Still in progress. See here the default uh, all source file uh, we are getting as a string which we are going to create uh, and we are converting as a integer that's why here you can see the type it is showing as integer that's why I use the functions which we are receiving a salary and commission as a string so when you are doing some calculations it will throw data type error that's why I have uh, used the functions to convert a string to integer then uh, can see still it's taking more time so the debug flow is enabled you can see here data flow debug option is enabled you can refresh here and before running you can see the data preview how the data is uh, like looking uh, how you can expect the output you can verify here still it's running data preview and checking that see here uh, we have all the columns and additional column which we created here is total salary it is a combination of salary plus commission here there is a salary and there is no commission so total is 800 here the salary is a 1600 and commission is 300 total is a 1900 same thing here you can see the salary is a 1250 and the commission is 500 you can see 1750 same thing here wherever is null so we are adding as zero that's why the value is uh, coming correct so if you are not using a uh, if null function it will convert as a default uh, like default will be getting as a null output uh, it will uh, convert into null whatever you are doing the calculations so wait still yeah now you, here you can see this is the output file which we have created the same thing here you can see this is all the seven columns existing columns in this table and i have created additional column based on salary and commission this is salary plus commission so this is so this is the way we can go for using derived column in azure data factory version 2 azure data factory version 2 in data flows so thank you for watching my videos. Please subscribe my channel to get more videos and updates on my channel. Thank you very much.